In question one of this exercise, we have to find the ratio of the following. So we have three parts given to us. In each part, there are two quantities given and we have to find the ratio of those two quantities. So let's start with part one, part A. So in part A, we have to find the ratio of the speed of a cycle, 15 kilometers per hour to the speed of a scooter, 30 kilometers per hour. So the first speed is 15 kilometers per hour and the second speed is 30 kilometers per hour. So we have to find the ratio of these two quantities. So the ratio will be 15 kilometers per hour by 30 kilometers per hour. And because these two are in the same units, the units cancel and we have 15 by 30 or 1 by 2. And we can write this 1 by 2 ratio as 1 is to 2. So this is the answer for part 1, part A. The ratio is 1 is to 2. Now in part B, the two quantities are 5 meters and 10 kilometers. So we have to find the ratio of 5 meters to 10 kilometers. Now in this case, the units are different. So we will write the two quantities in the same unit. So let's do that in meters. Let's convert, let's write both the quantities in meters. So the ratio will be the first quantity 5 meters that remains as 5 meters. But the second quantity 10,000, 10 kilometers can be written as 10,000 meters because 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. So 10 kilometers is 10,000 meters. So now the units are the same. So we can cross out the units and we have 5 by 10,000 or 1 by 2000. So this is the ratio that we get. So the ratio can now be written as 1 is to 2000. So this is the answer for part B. The ratio is 1 is to 2000. Lastly, let's, let's do part C. So in part C, the two quantities are 50 paise and rupees 5. So again, the units are different. So we will write the two quantities in the same units and then we will take the ratio. So let's con let's write both quantities in paise. So the ratio will be 50 paise by rupees 5. So rupees 5 will be 500 paise because 1 rupee is 100 paise. And now we can take the ratio. So the units cancel out and we have 50 by 500 or 1 by 10. So the ratio of these two quantities can be written as 1 is to 10. So this is the answer to part C and with that all three parts of question one are done. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.